Good morning, fam. It's that time again to get ice. What we gotta do is make sure you always have ice. I got a $2 bag and uh, usually that does me pretty good. Come on. I'm just trying to show you guys a couple things that I do in the morning before I head out. Get that $2. And then, hey, and sometimes these damn machines don't even work, so. That'd be a way to start off the morning, huh? Let's see if it comes out. Come on, come on, give it to me. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. All right, next, I gotta go get my, uh, I gotta get my coffee and um, some gas. It's a little foggy out here this morning too. Check it out. Yep, the stuff we gotta do to bring y'all content. All right, family, so we got our coffee. Gonna put some gas. Right here at the lovely gas station. Man, can't you, can you believe the price of gas right now? It's crazy. So we all set up. And uh, let's, let's get on the road, man. All right, fam, I'm gonna chunk it out. I'm gonna chunk it out a couple of these pieces. I like to chunk my sardines out not uh not too small pieces you know this if, uh, if I had fresh sardines it would be easier to uh it would be easier to um cut them in half and everything but I just got my fillet knife and what we got is the the garlic bang spray this seemed to be a hit uh, for me last time and uh let's see what happens man all right you guys so what we got here is a high low rig uh, i call it the high low pretty much a high low rig uh you can also use this we use them on uh the charters for rock cod you know you can put squid teasers whatever on it wait hit the bottom jig it up but this for the aqueduct gonna hit the bottom like that these two hooks are gonna hang you can tie on your own loops, loop, loop, one loop with one hook you want. And the California Aqueduct, you can fish up to three hooks, but baiting weight, I'm only gonna use two today. And then um, we're gonna use uh, one on the Carolina rig. Basically, I always use just two hooks, one hook. Um, I don't think it's ever been a time where I've ever done three hooks. So anyways, um, High low rig, pretty much tie on two dropper loops, leader, weight, and uh, you go to the weight as the current. You know what I'm saying? Upgrade your weight. If it's too much current, I mean, the heavier current, add more weight, right? It's pretty simple to learn. So let's see what rig wins today. This one right here, or the, uh, the Carolina rig with the slider. Let's hook them up. So basically all I'm gonna do just put it right underneath the fin. I mean the spine right there. The fin. <laughs> and don't hook yourself like I just did. Then you're going to hit it with uh, another one. Right there. Boom. Looks pretty the way it is right there. Let's get some uh, good old brain spray. Boom. Oh. Watch you spray this stuff. You don't want to drown it. You don't want to drown your bait in it. Just barely hit it a couple times. I think I might have missed the second shot, but got it the first one. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cast it out. I'm going to go past the middle. I don't want to go too deep because it's still early in the morning and it could be shallow. Put that there. Make sure the drag is set. Yep. And go get me a bell. And this, my friends, is a Carolina rig with a slider, swivel. Got a 20 pound leader, 2 watt octopus hook. Great rig for the California aqueduct fishing with cut bait. <clears throat> I 
I got this thing over my mouth. It's kind of hard to breathe. You know, I'm already fat as it is. I'm trying to lose some weight already. All right. We're going to do this one without. Cast it shallow. I don't want to cast it too uh, deep like the other ones. Well, the other one ain't too deep, but you know what I'm saying. Give me a lovely bell right here. And hopefully we can see these poles dance. All right, see what happens. Oh, we're on. Yes. Carolina rig is working. His striper, tell me what he's fighting. Maybe a smaller guy, though. It's like you're walking a striper down a duck, huh? <laughs> You might make 18 barely, let's see. So the first one on the Carolina rig, look at that hook. <laughs> let's get some pliers. Measure them. <clears throat> Heard the measure them. Cause he's not a keeper. Have to go back. Let me see. Hopefully you guys can see. This is gonna be. <laughs> Actually, it is a keeper. From the tail to the mouth. A little over 19. I just don't catch him this small anymore. It's been a while. <laughs> so we got first one on the board. All right, you guys. So. The 19, a little over 19, not too much, over 19. Carolina rig, and a little shallower than that one. So, let's see if this one can pick up another one. And, I don't know. Don't uh, don't sleep on the high-low rig, though. It's got two pieces of bait, too. And this one, I didn't put no scent on it. So, I don't know. Let's, let's cut up some sardines. Always bring that other bag of ice. That way, I'll leave a bag of ice and put the fish in there. That way it stays fresh. I got a stringer for them in the water, but if I could put them on ice, I'll put them on ice. All right, this is rigged up. Let's cast this bad boy. In the water. Make sure this drag is set. I don't want it too loose. I'm trying to get it just right. Well, they can pull, you know. A little bit of drag. Not too much, but some. Okay. There goes that one. Ready to go. Just to give this one a fair chance, I'm going to recast it or rebait if I need to. It's got bait on there. Let's make sure the bait's still sturdy. Yeah, bait looks good on there. Let's see here. Restick the bait. Those are two good looking pieces of bait. Usually I fish with fresh, fresh 
sardines. These are not bad for store bought from Coke's Tackle and Rod. Don't forget, if you guys are ever in Bakersfield, to stop by Cope's Tackle and Rod. Got a lot of selection of stuff in there for you. And uh, Bob's Bait Bucket. The little two tackle shops here in town. Okay, let's see what happens. So it's been about 20 minutes. <clears throat> 20 minutes. The Carolina rig gotten bitten a couple times. Nothing too hard, just picking at it. And then this one hasn't got a bite yet. So, and this has the bang spray. So the Carolina rig is winning so far. It brought it in, I brought them in last time with this Carolina rig too. So, I'm waiting. About 20 minutes now since I've casted them in. Like, it's like clockwork with the school that comes by that you're waiting on. Alright fam, <clears throat> closing in. Almost 30 minutes has been since I got a bite. Well, since I caught the last fish. So what we're gonna do is cut up some more sardines. All right, we're all set. Just recast it. See what happens. We're getting bites <clears throat> on the Carolina rig. It's about 10, 12 minutes in. Nothing committed. They're picking at it. High low rig. Got two sardines on it. Still no bites on it. We'll see what happens. I keep saying that, huh? <laughs> it's kind of chilly this morning. If I sound muffled, it's because I got the face mask um, over my face. It's one of those, it's like a camel, really warm one from Bass Dash. You guys check out Bass Dash net gaiters too. They got they got the best net gaiters I'm telling you. You guys the material on them is is awesome. Especially the one I'm wearing right now. I usually wear this one on the ocean trips. And uh keeps me pretty warm. And my covers your whole head and your face. I'm sure you get it tired to see my face. I don't feel like showing you. Man, this baiting weight stuff is real patiently waiting, huh? Just for about a ring. And this, those two little bites right now, <laughs> believe it or not, kind of makes me, makes you think for hope, you know? You're going to get that striper. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to scratch these back. Move them up. Let's see if these things will chase us. Scent. Do that. See what happens. There it is, fam. I tell you guys, I knew it was going to I knew it. I knew it was going to move. Chase that scent. All I did was move it. That's all I had to do. Scratch it back. It's got a shot out like a damn bullet. I like the same size as the other ones. Oh, I really got him on the mouth. Another good uh, 
Cook said as last time. Look at that. Beauty. Alright guys, I'm gonna see what this measures. We got a 20 close to a 20 inch striper. Uh pretty close. Yep, so almost identical fish. A little off, but pretty close. I'm done you guys. That's the limit. So today this worked out. The Carolina rig with the slider. It's a very successful rig these past two days or a couple days since I've been fishing. Um don't sleep on this rig, y'all. Great baiting weight rig. And a, a rig to stay out of the moss. Same thing with the high-low rig, too. But like everything else in fishing, one rig is better than the other one on some days. All right? Come on. What's up, fam? <laughs> I told you guys my face was covered. So the Carolina rig with the... um. What the slider seemed to be what they wanted on the bottom and the high low rig you know picks up the bait off the bottom and then you know one towards the bottom it all depends where you want to put your knots and uh anyways uh you know the carolina rig seemed to work again uh really great i did use the bang spray it didn't work today so it just shows you guys uh you know it changes day to day you always got to be uh prepared for these striper man they always uh they always change it up on you <laughs> keep us on our toes as anglers to have what you need out here all right you guys so try the bait and weight method and i uh, hope this can help you guys uh if you like the you guys like this video hit the like button for your boy subscribe to the channel and uh i love bringing this content to you guys like this i'll see you guys on the next one striper's not giving come on <laughs>